Hey up, welcome back. Right, so in this one, we're moving back on to the house renovation. Uh, it's quite a big on this. Uh, we're doing the dining room, which kind of led on to a, a lot more than what were expected. Um, I kind of forgot to do an intro when I started it, or I've either lost the footage, I can't remember now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you a quick clip of what it looked like when we first moved in, uh, and then we'll just start the video and you can see what work we've done up to now on it, which, which it's been a lot. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's been a lot of work. So yeah, just let's jump straight into it. So they had an electric fire there. I took that out. A bit ago um my wife dismantled the half section but i need to try and get these tiles off now we are damaging the wall if possible or very little damage i've just started chiseling away at some so yeah we'll uh i'll bring you back when i've got it all off So that came off relatively good, I would say. Um, this wall has been redone before. This is plasterboard, uh, obviously, dot and dab. And that is where I've gone through, obviously, with dot and dab, you have hollow bits at the back of the uh, plasterboard. So this is just where I've gone through, um, trying to pry them off you know to get it started not too bad i i reckon i can just i get away with filling that i reckon um got some proper like uh, ready mixed skim stuff which is what i i did across top of that wall um so i'll just tidy it up fill them with something a little bit better you know clean them out fill them up and then just get a little skim over that should be about right obviously i'm going to take skirting board off as well and uh, get some new skirting board i think these as well these uh windowsills and they're just plastic crap i mean it's it's not very good I, if you feel if I, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it but there is actually a wooden windowsill under there so i'm going to rip them off um, i'm going to put the blind up there as well but yeah quite pleased with that Right, so just got some of this off. What I'm gonna do is just this corner, right? Obviously, we've got rid of frame, so I think that's gonna be a lot better. But all this plasterboard is gonna come off. And if you look here, yeah, all this wall is gonna come off as well. <sighs> so it needs doing as it's. 
Bloody pain though. At least kitchen looks alright now. <laughs> right, so this leads into dining room. Uh, as you saw when I ripped all this door frame off, all this wall is loose. So uh, we're going to have to do this as well as, you know, together with the dining room. So this wall is now going to come off. Yeah, I'm just being and got some buckets. We've got to skip, so I've just marked it up here because I think this section is all right. So if I can get away with just it coming off up to there, that'd be much better. So yeah, let's uh, have a quick go at this then. All the wall is moving. Coming off like final <laughs> Right, that's that off. Took radiator off. That's outside Fox Scrap Man because it was minging and uh, not very well. It, a lot of black crap came out of it when I was getting it off. And the plaster is well, it's not great, but it's quite good for compared to all the rest of walls in the house. So, yeah, there we go. Right, so that's that off. Uh, I've left that on because that is solid. It takes some rain knocking off. For some reason, it seems to stuck up there, but not down there. So I'm going to patch it up. But all this, all that to do, is all ripping, coving off. Ended up putting an all in ceiling. So I've got that to do and all. Yeah. But I'm just going to... Uh, get some plasterboards and attempt to stick them on so see how that goes so uh, either make a mess of it or my first attempt goes well right so that's one of the plasterboards cut um well actually it's two two of them cut um i have got a bit of a gap i'm hoping that i can sort of thread one into there you know to put across top of here got others to cut now and uh, get them propped up but yeah it's uh, for my first time I, I, I took it at the back of them pipes it's a bit of a gap there but you know I'm not, I'm not really worried about that I can fill it it's not really a problem um, but yeah it's uh, where it was slowly starting to get there so I'll bring you back when I've got rest of boards cut and uh, and then I'll see if I can stick them to the wall. Uh, a little bit nervous about that bit but yeah, might as well give it a go. Worst thing that can happen is I have to take them back off and get someone else in to do it. Yeah, there we go. Right, so got all this on. It is literally just balancing in place at the minute got everything cut I've marked up everything so I know where to put it back in the same place all this is on <coughs> so I've got it all I've made sure packings are in right place it's just that they were wanting to fall off at wall so I've lent them that way a bit but yeah it's uh, 
got I have got some uh, corner bead stuff to to put on but yeah I shall uh, have a go at mixing some stuff up and see if I can get them stuck on <laughs> Right, so that's the, uh, the first piece on. Um, I think I didn't mix it quite thin enough to start with, so I ended up remixing it with a little bit more water. Um, yeah, I think it's not too bad. I put square on, and to the existing bit of plaster, there is a bit of a gap. But it's it is square, so the skim coat will fill whatever gap there is there. Um, as for all the rest of it, seem to have got it all nice and flat, and it is square. It's uh, relatively flat. I think that's not bad job for my first attempt I think so we'll get cracking and get another one put on So that's the uh, the next one on. Struggled a little bit with that one, trying to get it all flat and square. Um, I think the consistency of the stuff that I've mixed up were a bit too thick. Um, but I, I've got it on. I, I've mixed some more up, which is a lot thinner now. I think that might be too thin, but we'll see how the next one goes. So I'll bring you back when I've got all these put on and uh, see what it looks like right so this is the uh, finished product <laughs> it's uh, fairly straight I've not got it perfect but you know what for a first attempt I'm pretty chuffed with how this has come out so Obviously, I'm going to be putting a new door frame in. The new door, obviously, ceiling needs skimming. Uh, we've got a big hole there that came off when I took all the coving off. Uh, I'm going to slit that all the way down because we've got a random cable that's attached to a double socket. I've no idea where, where that actually goes to. I'm guessing it's just spurred off for another socket somewhere uh, yeah and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pipes off up there and put some new pipes on with a on off valve sort of thing up there um, and then put some new nice pipes in there I'm going to try and make my own copper radiator you know, something a bit fancy. Can give it a go, see what that comes out like. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's uh, it's taken me a lot longer than what it would a professional, but for a first go, yeah, really happy. Right, so the cable that were coming down was well, to a double socket there. And obviously when we took everything off, the cable were running across the bottom and up through the boxing that were there. And it went up through the, the floorboards into the little room above us. 
and it run all the way around edge of bedroom under carpet and actually up into a double socket but not you know just came out at carpet and up wall and the chiseled away so a bottom of the socket to get it up so <clears throat> i've removed that just now and what i'm doing now is i'm just getting all the water out of the system i'm going to cut these pipes off up here i've just cleaned a bit up so i'm going to cut them off and i've got some little like ball valve things i'm going to put on uh, so we can put all new piping on once we're ready for putting the radiator on uh, obviously after it's all been plastered so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to get these cut off and put some valves on So there we go, that's uh, them tool fitted, looks a lot better getting rid of them crappy pipage. This uh, Milwaukee deburrer tool is pretty good as well, quite impressed with that. Right so we made a start on doing the kitchen up and uh, yeah all the plaster around the window came off and when I took the windowsill off a load of bricks came out with it now it wasn't that bad um, but there were a few bricks so i've sort of chased out the loose bricks um, and i'm going to attempt to uh, do my first ever brick laying and uh, try and build this back up so i'm just going to clean all bricks up i have chiseled a couple out here because they were loose but but i had to chisel them out to get them out and I thought if I'm going to do it, I might as well take any that are slightly loose out and try try sort it out properly. So yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. Right, so I'm going to show you me doing my first ever brick, right? Hopefully it goes all right. I don't know whether I've got my mixture right, uh, but we'll find out, won't we? Just like icing a cake. Should have really watched the video on it first, shouldn't I? Uh. <laughs> yeah, this is not going going very well, is it? This might take me a bit longer than I thought. It'll be a bricky watching this absolutely pissing itself. Right. There we go. Perfect. Look at that, eh? <laughs> if only you could see my wife's face at back at camera. That says it all. Uh, yeah, I think I think I might need to just have a little practice and I'll come back when I've actually got a little bit sorted. Right, attempt number two. I just kidding <laughs> even trying with that last lot and I've watched the video and I'm still going to do a crap job but we'll see how it goes
this is going to take me ages. <laughs> yeah, my wife's shaking her head again. Because you're doing it wrong again. <laughs> hey? You're doing it wrong again. Doing it wrong again. Right. See, me. Right. Well, this time the actual gobble seems better. Um, it's better. Yeah. It's better than my first attempt. Um, still lacking a little bit of cement in these gaps, so I'm just going to try and force a bit in. And uh, yeah, I'll come back when I've got a little bit more done and you can see what it's like. Right. So I've got up to the um, run out of cement. This is the day after. You might notice a different brick there. That's because there is. Um, where it was originally, there were like pieces of wood in in the uh, brickwork, and then at this side there were just a big lump of cement. So I put a different brick in so that I've got enough bricks now to do one solid run across top and keep everything level for when I put the new uh, windowsill on. But I'm just going to go now and get some more sand because uh, I run out. So we are unable to finish it last night. Yeah, I'll bring you back. I have kind of figured out how to do it. So once I've got another mix put up, I'll show you how good I am at putting bricks down now. Because that, that first attempt was terrible. I got the mix totally wrong on that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I got up to about here and I'd sort of figured it out. And all, all the rest were, well, I, I was quite pleased with how it went. So I'll show you on this uh, last row. Right. Show you. What I've got to splashing it everywhere. Put too much on in some places. professional every time <clears throat> there we go look at that eh I'm going to be a bit tight on how much I mixed. Should have mixed a little bit more, but I think I might just have enough. Right. There we go. That's, uh, I know it's not brilliant, but quite pleased for a 
Here's the tent. And I mean, I've got to admit, I've got a lot better towards end compared to that first brick that I put down. And it's level, which is the main thing. So, yeah, pleased with that. Just need to get some plaster boards now to put back on this wall. So we've had plaster out today. Uh, I, don't, I wasn't going to put these plaster boards up with them, but it came out today while we were at work, so he's done it. He's done all the lot. It's uh, starting to look alright now. I've just put that up temporary because it's dark outside now. Don't want people looking in. Yeah, actually looking half decent again now. Just wait for it all to dry and then I can. Uh, get a, a nice paint up and uh, put me new window sills on and then rip all this crappy flooring up all this were underneath carpet <laughs> we've got tiles that were underneath laminate we've got tiles here that were underneath laminate we've got to take all of it up and then fit some nice flooring all the way through and into the kitchen as you can see there's a nice kitchen that we did is uh, now a dumping site <laughs> but needs must We've got electric box here this had that little corner piece in uh, I'm gonna have a think about something nice to build to box all that in and maybe have it going all the way up with some nice shelves or something like that uh, gonna have a, a think about that one at a minute but yeah that's where we are up to now Right, so that's all the walls, little imperfections filled up and uh, sanded smooth. It's all ready for painting now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start taking all these tiles up. Um, try and get everything up uh, before I get painted and get all mess, messy bits, you know, out of the way. So, yeah, let's crack on get all this uh, lovely flooring up right so that's all the tiles up in the uh, all there as you can see i'm having to juggle all the stuff around everywhere got the wall like stick on vinyl tiles down here all of them have come up and as we walk around you can see all them tiles uh have come up but that's where i've got to so far there were tiles on top of tiles uh yeah <coughs> it's um this is obviously, I think at some point, this section here used to be uh, like an outhouse. So it's been knocked through, same as this little bit here you can see. Uh, obviously, it used to be like a small dining room and kitchen. This is where kitchen sink used to be. Um, but yeah, but a... Uh, get these two machines out get all that up and then uh, I don't know if you saw in here I've got some bags of self leveling floor stuff to try um, might have to get a few more bags this uh, yeah that's that's been very useful <laughs> all, all the little bits of crap and everything been getting up with that um yeah that was sent to me for testing from ryobi but i've done a separate video on that which i'll put up here somewhere if you're interested but yeah that's where we are at the minute need to crack on get the machines out finish getting them uh, them tiles up right so that's that bit done uh, it's quite uneven, it does sort of sink down at this edge a bit. So I'm going to get some of that self-leveling stuff mixed up and get that poured 
hopefully it'll uh, turn out all right i think i'm going to do one one mix first because this little bit here is quite low so i might fill this up and let that set and then i think i'll do another one for all the rest of it right so this video is getting quite long now it's uh there were a lot more work than what i, what I first anticipated so i'm going to split the video up into two or might even be three parts i don't know i want to try and keep the videos at a, a decent length so yeah if you're enjoying the video so far consider subscribing uh hit that bell notification so you don't miss part two of the uh third bit of the renovation i, don't, I can't remember how many videos i've done now but it's all becoming a bit of a blur together um it's a lot of work hell of a lot more work than what i first thought i would have to put into this house um but we are like we're getting there it's it's coming along nicely now so remember if you like the video you know give it a thumbs up and uh yeah i'll see you in part two cheers <laughs>